So, uh, the official word is that this treaty goes into effect today at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. And across the country and across the world, people are asked to ring bells at 12 noon. <coughs> so please get your bells out. How, how close are we? And we'll tell you when it's noon and we'll start really ringing the bells. And I think banging the drums would be good too. Okay, 12 noon, ring those bells. Good morning, or I guess we're in the afternoon. Okay, well, we just want to speak about um, Steve Kelly, who's already done 33 months in the uh, jail in Georgia, has been transferred to to a uh, holding pen in in Oklahoma, and he's being moved to um, Tacoma, Washington, to be resentenced for an, a different plowshares action because he violated the probation doing this doing the second one in Georgia. He acted at the at the uh, Kings Bay Naval Station in in uh, St. Mary, Georgia, um, outside of Brunswick. The other people in prison are Claire Grady is going in next week, but. Um, in between that, we have um, Martha Hennessy is in jail at, at Danbury, Connecticut, and um, Carmen Trotta is up in um, New York State in Otisville, um, and Patrick O'Neill is now in prison in Ohio. Um, each of them have over a year to serve in prison for their um, for their witness. Okay, there's people. The plowshares movement has continued to act here at Bath Ironworks. Um, there were two plowshares actions here. One was in 1991 and one was in 1996. And um, after the one six, Jorgen, my son, before was speaking, and he spoke about Ardeth Platty. She came up here for three months and organized around the trial in 96 and 97. For, for the plowshares people, and they, uh, she put on the Festival of Hope, and she vigiled both here and down in Portland at their, at their place. And I'd like to read a, 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 a segment of, of a letter that she sent to me. She sent, we were in very close communication for many years. And um, this year, or in March, or June of last year, she wrote this. It all seems endless when it comes to wars and weapons. But I know there is a new day coming. So many more people are speaking out, withdrawing support from and growing stronger against violence and death dealing. It is evident that killing, war and violence, economic disparity, environmental destruction, exclusion through walls, patriarchy, nationalism, gender, etc., are not part of our love and faith. It seems important to us to remember Phil Berrigan's message. Do not look for results, successes, immediate victories, wins, etc., but to be faithful to truth-telling. That truth-telling is done with love, in nonviolent actions, in a spirit of hope. And I believe that's what we're doing here today. We are doing truth-telling. We're standing here speaking the truth and trying to awaken hearts and minds that nuclear weapons are immoral and now they are illegal and we need to get rid of them so our children and grandchildren and the world can live in peace and harmony. These weapons are a plague and a horror on our lives and they need to be eliminated. Thank you very much. <laughs>